Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Today we are going through a brief tutorial on how to set environment variables in Windows 10, and kind of why you should use them. So, an environment variable is simply a variable which is set in your OS outside any other programs, but, old programs can kind of utilize them, and, suitable information to. Like put in an environment variable could be, for example, if you have an API key, that you don't want to share with anyone else. So for example, when you push to GitHub, you could set an environment variable, like that a key value pair, with the like hidden API key, in here like the value. Or, if you have like a sensitive password, to your Gmail account or something. If you use an SMTP server, you could put it in here as well, like in an environment variable and then you can simply access them. For example, if you're in JavaScript you could access them by typing process dot, and, in viral dot, and then API key for instance or the variable name there in the end. And, how do you set them? Well you set them, if in Windows 10, or 11, by typing an environ here, then you open up prompt here, and, then you prees environment variables, then you get another prompt, and this are like the very environment variables that are already set. And, all of the applications or most applications use environment variables, for paths etc. So, you will have some already set. But, you can go ahead and press new there, and create a new one, so let's create an API key variable, and then, the kind of hidden API key here, which is the value of that environment variable, API key will store. You press OK. And then, you press OK, again and then OK. Then your environment variables should be set. You can confirm this by going to the command prompt, and type percent, and then API key, which was the name of our variable. And, then percent sign again. And, before this you can type echo. So, echo out the content of this variable. And, you can see that, the value is as a matter of fact id, an API key which we just put in also remember to restart your terminal. Or, command prompt. Whenever you've set a new environment variable. Since it needs to be restarted in order for it to recognize it. You could also, if you want to look at all your environment variables in your system available. You could write set, that will simply get a list of all your environment variables. And here, you can see the one we also set ourselves. If, you want to store this information, you could you do that there's on desktop. So, let's navigate to the desktop like that, and then you simply type step, and arrow, and then, the name of the txt file. Where we want to store it. So, let's say environment info, dot txt, and you press enter, there. And, you should have a text file layer on your desktop saying environment info and you have all the information there as well. So, that was a brief tutorial, on how to use the environment variables, in Windows. I hope you got it, and see you soon.